Okay, thanks, students. So this group, we're going to be going over an example on how to carry out implicit differentiation algebraically and then how to use the TI-89 titanium calculator to carry out the same lab computation, okay? So let's go ahead and write down the uh, instruction for the example we're doing. So the task is to use, use implicit differentiation. Implicit differentiation to find um, dy dx and uh, d square y dx square. And the function under uh, consideration is the implicitly defined function 2y square equals 3x square plus 4. All right. Okay, so first thing you want to note is uh, dy dx can be expressed as y prime, and the square y dx square can also be expressed as a second derivative, okay? All right, so I'm going to be using the prime uh, notation. It doesn't make any difference. I like the prime notation because it's neater um, and it's easy to work with. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that here. So for part A, we want to find, find dy dx or y prime, they mean the same thing, okay? I'm gonna use y prime notation. So let's start with the original function, two i squared equals three x squared plus four. So to uh, differentiate this implicitly, let's start with the first term. So using the power rule, you're gonna have four y times the derivative of y, which is y prime, equals, differentiate this using the power rule, we have six x, and then we know the derivative of uh, 4 is 0 using the constant rule for derivatives. Okay, so next thing to, we have to do is isolate y prime, divide both sides by 4y, so we have y prime equals 6x divided by 4y. Okay, if we divide top and bottom by 2, we'll end up with y prime being equal to 3x over 2y. So uh, there goes your first answer. All right, so how do we do this using a uh, calculator? That's the next question. So there goes my um, TI-89 calculator. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look for the function that uh, carry out the um, implicit differentiation process. That's known as the indiv function. There are two places you can find it. On the F3 menu, the calculus menu, you scroll up. Option D has an indiv um, function, OK? Another place you can find all the functions, operators, symbols, and all the cool stuff in the calculator is in the catalog. So let's just, let me show you how you can do that. So press catalog, and then you just scroll down to I. I already, I'm already there, and then you have the in uh function right there. Okay. Another cool uh, feature about the catalog menu is when you have the function, desired function selected with the arrow pointing to it, uh, underneath the window, Underneath the window, you have the syntax for appropriately, um, accurately entering the arguments to the function, okay? So if you want to enter an argument for the implicit differentiation, the imdiv function, first thing you enter is the uh, equation, followed by a comma, and then the independent variable, in this case x, and then the dependent variable, which is y we're, that we're doing here, and then the order. Order means is it the first derivative, dy dx, the second derivative, d square y dx square, or into derivative, okay? So this function is really powerful because not only does it determine the first derivative, it can also compute higher order derivatives. So let's go ahead and select the imp function, imp diff function, syntax also shows up here. So what we're gonna do is we're trying to check to see this answer is correct. So let's enter the original equation as our function, two y to the second power equals three x to the second power plus four. Uh, remember the syntax, next thing you enter is your independent variable, which is x in this case, next your dependent variable, and then the order, we're looking for the first derivative here, so we're going to put in 1, all right? Enter, 3x over 2y, excellent, our answer is correct, all right? So now let's advance to the B part um, of the question, which is to find the second derivative. All right, so for the B part, we're going to find... Um, we want to find d square y dx square or uh, y double prime. So we are starting with the 
solution we have here, y prime equals 3x over 2y. All right, so to do this, uh, to carry out this, we are going to differentiate both sides. So y, the derivative of the first derivative, the second derivative, equals 3x over 2y prime. Okay? We have a quotient of functions here, so we have to use the quotient rule. Do you remember what the quotient rule is? Well, let's go over that again. So u over v prime use the numerator and v is the denominator, equals du prime minus uv prime over v squared. Okay? So this is how you compute the derivative using the quotient rule. So in this case, um, u is 3x and v is 2y. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and differentiate this. So y double prime is going to be u, which is 3x, I'm sorry, v, v goes first, um, v, which is 2i, times the derivative of u, derivative of 3x is just 3, minus u, which is 3x, times the derivative of, of, of uh, v, which is 2, times y prime, okay, using the chain rule, there, uh, divided by v squared the denominator square so divided by 2y squared okay all right let's simplify this so this is going to yield um, 6y minus 6xy prime over uh, 4y squared okay we have a situation here um, y prime can we can i substitute y prime with something else that's the question well we already knew that uh y prime is 3x over 2y we already know that uh, from the solution in part a so we can uh, substitute that here okay so if we make this substitution we're going to have the equation 6y minus 6x times 3x over 2y that numerator divided by the square of the denominator, 2y squared, is going to be uh, 4y squared. Okay? All right, let's simplify this further. Uh, we're going to have, this is going to become 6y uh, over 1 minus 18x squared over 2y. And that whole thing divided by 4y squared. Okay, let's uh, combine this to find the LCD. So it times this by 2y top and bottom. And uh, we're going to have 12y square minus 18x square over 2y. And that over 4y square. Okay, so to finish this up, we'll times it top and bottom by 2y. So times this by 2y. The reason why I'm multiplying it by 2y top and bottom is because I want to um, get rid of the denominator there. So when we do that, we're going to have um, 12y squared minus 18x squared over 2y. I mean, over uh, 8y to the third. If you don't like what I did here, multiply by 2y on the top and bottom, you can multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator, you end up with exactly the same result. Okay, so this is one way you can express the answer. Another way you can express the answer, you can break them, break it down uh, into 12y squared over 8y to the third, minus 18x squared over 8y to the third, and you just reduce this. This, the first term, you can divide by 4y top and bottom. Actually, 4y squared, top and bottom, you end up with 3 over 2y. And then in this case over here, you can uh, reduce by dividing by 2 in the numerator and denominator. So you have 9x squared over 4y to the third. Okay? So our answer, you can write our second derivative, um, d squared y dx squared can be written as 12y squared minus 18x squared over 8y to the third, or 3 over 2y minus 9x squared over 4y to the third. So any of these uh, options, answers will suffice, okay? 
So let's see how we can enter this into our calculator and see if our answer is in fact correct. Okay, so file power TI-89, titanium again. Now check out how easy it is. So what I will do here is I have to start from the original problem. The only thing I'll alter is the order. We're looking for the second derivative here. So I change that last number from one to two. Hit enter, we have three over two i minus nine x squared over four y to the third. So we see that our answer um, is in fact correct. All right, so there you have it. All right, so how well did you understand this example? Well, I like you to try the following example, number two. Same process, find uh, dy dx and d square y dx square using implicit differentiation. Uh, for the function x to the two third, actually two x to the two third plus two y to the two third equals two. Okay, so what I like you to do is for this function, I would like you to do find the first and second derivative y and y prime and verify the accuracy of the solution with your calculator. Okay, and please post your answer in the comment section of this video to let me see what you got. Uh, if you have any issues or questions, also you can also post a comment to let me know uh, what complications you have in finding the first and second derivative of this implicitly defined function. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. Feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here so you can get all these sort of cool tutorials such as this. And please post a comment about your answer or any questions, concerns, or comments that you have in the comment section below. More clips can be found on math.serve.com slash calculus, or you can just scan this um, QR code right here for direct access. Thanks again for watching. Have a wonderful day.